we have breaking news. Our leader, Savior, some might even call him our Messiah. And they have taken him to jail as we speak. All he did was have a little fun. This country is rude. Crooked Clinton, I believed in the ability for me and my boys to go to the Capitol. What's wrong with it? The goddamn lives to picnic. Really? We pay for the building, why not? We just give you a Benjamin here, you don't tell anybody about it. That's all I hear. That was a hell of an intro, I gotta say. <laughs> it's not an intro, it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ricky Bobby. Mm -hmm. Ricky Bobby. Don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. I can't believe it. They did it. They goddamn put Trump in fucking jail. You know what's like the most ironic thing about this entire thing is Trump ran his entire isn't <laughs> Trump ran his entire election off of put Hillary in jail. Mhm. Mm <laughs> and now Trump <laughs> It's going to be the one that, like, ends up going to jail, which is ridiculous. So, <laughs> the irony. I, like, like, I can't believe I'm, I'm here to say this. But, yes, so, basically, Donald J. Trump, our previous president, uh, leader and warrior of the Trump lands within, like, Twitter, uh, CEO of Truth Social... <laughs> The one and only Donald J. Trump was essentially indicted, which, like, I don't really understand the difference between indicted and arrested, you know? But something, there's some, there's some difference about it. I'm not entirely quite sure. But he was essentially arrested for charges on, like, hush money charges. Like, paying, so he allegedly paid Stormy Daniels. I remember this coming out. I, I remember this coming out, like, years ago. I, you know, they're just like, oh, yeah, he was, like, fucking with this porn star. And I was like, classic Donald. You know, classic Donald. Of course, Donald's going to be like that. But, of course, they're not going to be able to prove it. That's how it goes with most of the presidents. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then, like, Donald comes around. It turns out that they actually charged him for paying Stormy Daniels hush money to basically be quiet during his election about their interactions together. And if you know what interactions means, I know what interactions means, and everyone behind that uh, beautiful, beautiful camera uh, knows what interactions mean. But he sure was interacting with her, and she basically told everybody. And now he is apparently, he might actually serve jail time isn't that amazing i, I can't, can't believe it he's the first president ever to the first president that previous president or current president that has ever had a criminal charge uh against them uh this is a an investigation there he was charged by a manhattan district attorney uh, so that means, I believe there was also a, like, jury, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, from what I understand, an indictment is like a pre-trial almost, isn't it? Similar to that? Like, yeah. Like, if there, they basically week. determine if there's enough evidence to even file charges. And I think it's case-by-case case dependent. I believe that's what an indictment is, but I could be wrong. From what I've read, I think his arraignment is next week. Mm -hmm. So he's he's supposed to show up to court, and then if he doesn't oh, show up to dude. court, I think that's when they issue dude. court for arrest. Court Trump would be the best thing that this world has ever fucking televised. seen before. Televised. A tele imagine, imagine a televised court <laughs> Trump court proceeding where it's just like him and a bunch of. Imagine if he defended himself. Yeah, just be like, all right, can the defendant please, uh, can the defendant's lawyer please come forward? <laughs> and just Trump that just comes up and he's just like, they're like, how do you plead to these? Like, yeah, they tell him, they're like, how do you plead to these charges? And Trump's just like, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sir, you need to, you need please to do plea guilty. guilty. I'm like, guilty. wrong. This whole thing is wrong. It's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. You see those, you see those curtains? 
I chose those curtains, all right? <laughs> this is this is absolutely unbelievable. Wait, <clears throat> Trump is the personal decorator of the of the Supreme he, Court? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure before he appeared in the courtroom, he would have been like, these need to be a specific <laughs> Dude. What's the fo, fo shui? Or like, <clears throat> feng shui? Feng shui. Feng shui. Here's yeah. the, here's the, the I like... I always say it wrong, no matter how I say it. I so I just shui. might as well try as hard as I can. Here's the most ridiculous thing. I don't... Like, everyone's so calm about this. I've been, I've, I've told everyone around me. I told everyone's very big news. We've never seen news bigger than this. You know, I tell my wife, Ivanka, I'm like, wow, this is the biggest news they say, and they don't even say anything. It's because they're, the, they're crooked. They're all crooked. Absolutely. They're just, just wrong. Wrong. They're, they're all just wrong. <laughs> they literally, okay, he, there will be a court proceeding where Donald J. Trump, our previous president, will be in the defendant's seats, and there will be a porn star with huge titties. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen oak. a picture of her, but <laughs> right? look it up. Do yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. Favor. Pull up Stormy it's, Daniels. We it's have educational. to see. We have to see what this is. This is going to be what the if, best what court. If there's like a couple layers and like a big sweater. This. Because you know, what I'm saying is that what if they do like and then like a jacket and then they could with. do like a little s scarf. Are you dressing her for court in your head? <laughs> <laughs> is that the process that I'm <laughs> seeing you go through right now? Well, if you're saying that it's like <laughs> a giant thing. <laughs> Bay, 2023 issue. personal dresser of the porn star that's charging <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> I love you. Just saying. Damn, dude. Okay, so apparently Trump or his lawyer paid her 130 grand in yes. late October 2016, days before his election started, to silence her from going public on an alleged affair with Trump a decade earlier. Trump had denied the affair. Oh, so this happened like 10 years ago. Yeah. This isn't recent. No. Oh, I didn't know that. No. This I is like they're think. just now doing it. Well, I think they finally are okay. Processing. So we're getting back to yeah, the right I perspective. Feel, I feel like there's got to be more backstory. All right, here. we got to talk about the, the truth. Back, the you ever road. hear about the truth? You guys know that the world is <coughs> flat. No. What? No. No. You don't know. The world's flat. Pedophiles are taking over. There's lizard people. Sir. Uh, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, titties. She got big old. A blonde sure. porn star with big ass titties is going to testify against our ex president about how they fucked. It's so disproportionate. She herself is so disproportionate. She's her arms. It's true. I mean, who doesn't want to moan about that? You know. But look at her arms. <laughs> They're so small. Wait, but then I saw a picture of her earlier with like bigger buffer arms. Find the buff arms. Yeah, scooch. I think it was. Like scroll over a little bit. What, dude? Why is why is nobody freaking out that oh, the? Oh yeah, it's the the one in the far right second row down. No, the one with her and Trump. You're right next to it. Turn right. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bronze. I think Trump. that maybe it's the <laughs> angle is just a bit more flattering. I mean, <laughs> yes, much more of a flattering angle. Jake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chicken arms. Chicken twig, twig. Sorry. Melon, melon. Wow, I didn't know there was a pig here. I didn't know that. I didn't know they offered this kind of thing. But you know, you know what? This is a great establishment. I never seen it. <laughs> Wow, good tits. She's got the best tits in here. The only tits I've ever seen today that I'm like, wow, this is this has potential here. That's probably what he said to her too, you know. But I can't look. I can't wait till he's like in the actual courtroom. Like imagine him defending himself, and he's like, I know a lot of porn stars. I know. I, I'm from New York. I know all of the porn stars. You know, Stormy Daniels. Let's be honest, not the best porn star. <laughs> We've seen better. We know better. There are better porn stars at every corner. 
Yeah, I told her. I told her. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, and then he paid me money. He's like, wrong, wrong, lies, lies. Like, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this because this is going to be steamy. This is what American politics has been diffused down to. The fact that our ex-president is, might be charged. Well, I, I don't get it, though, because they said he's the first to be charged. But I guess he can be acquitted of those charges. He could. Uh, if it doesn't pull through. But, uh, okay, so from his camp, Trump's camp basically is saying that this is essentially like political persecution, right? And also like like messing with like elections because he is a potential uh, candidate. Not only a potential candidate, didn't he say that he's definitely going to run? You know, I one thing that I, I always thought, didn't you think that like yeah. Trump would get like arrested for something else? You know what I mean? Like, you know, this embezzlement. is very much Trump if you think about it. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's got Trump written it's got, all over it. It really does. It really does. <laughs> I could just imagine a campaign manager be like, uh, "Hey, Trump." We have, work. <laughs> they're like, we have somebody on the line. He's like, who is it? I didn't expect any phone calls right now. And he's like, it's a, it's a porn star. Oh, is it that bitch stormy? I swear to God. I never. <laughs> so yeah, you think she's, about it though, huh? she's threatening to blackmail us. Give her 50 bucks and a gift card. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> so, I mean, 130,000 though, if you think about it. Is not a lot of money for 130 grand. This was in 2016, so that's before all the inflation, if you really this think is, about it. Oh, God, that was so long ago. This I is kinda, pre, like, this <laughs> is pre, such a blur. This is pre inflation, this is pre inflation hush money. You know what I mean? You got to factor that in. Yeah, everything's going up. Yeah, everything's going up. It's been a hard seven years. I seriously feel that, like he should have done it in cash. That would have been like no paper trail, you know? But I think the reason why he was indicted in the first place was because there was evidence. And it's all through business like transactions. <laughs> so I don't know if he was that, tr you know. But this smart. is like. I feel like this is at the level where it's like Martha Stewart level of guilty. Yeah. Where it's like you're just gonna make a cooking show with Snoop Dogg and get over it. Well, yeah. here's here's the thing that I was thinking about. I'm like, okay, here's this ridiculous thing that's around Trump. We're used to this, right? We're used to ridiculousness kind of, you know, always circulating around Trump. All right. But the thing is, is that like he has a he has an election coming up. So there is a certain validity to both ends because, you know, like blackmailing money for like for somebody to be quiet, I think is like, isn't it that, that a misdemeanor or is that a felony? I think it's a felony because in, if in, they are in New York and at least and I think it's a political, it's a, it's a political crime as well because he did it to not have it hinder his yeah. political campaign. So I think it's like, it's a different kind of That's charge. true. But there's also laws against arresting, uh, against arresting like political opponents, mm -hmm. right? Like if you had a political opponent comes into your town to do a debate, you know, all you say is, oh, we found cocaine in his car. Let's go arrest him. Like that's not going to fly, mm -hmm. you know? I think what happened was, is he really did pay this bitch off. <laughs> no, he really did. I truly You know for a fact, dude. There's no way. Of course, of course Trump was going to be like, great tits. <laughs> we love your tits. We do love you, Stormy. But uh, we can't have you be talking about everything. <laughs> so it wasn't actually her paying it off. Hush money is not illegal. But it's the fact that since he did do it on paper through his um, rep... That the fact that then he falsified that his business records. Oh, dude, that's kind so of fucked. So that, yeah. Because falsifying business records is a misdemeanor. So he York. paid through it through his company? Yes. Dude, that's the most Trump thing I've ever heard of so, before. 
the hush money part legal. Call, call my but he then hit it and then this is violated. It wasn't illegal. Oh my if god. If he would have been open about it, it would have been fully legal. Nobody Dude, would that's found hilarious. It but it's because he tried to hide it and he falsified his accounts. <laughs> So falsifying business records is a misdemeanor. That's so, what they got him for. So the thing that Hush he did, fine. the thing that he did isn't even illegal. But because he used money from his own company to pay off a porn star. And then falsified the record. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. And you know what's funny? It's like he has... Oh my god, dude. He has a <laughs> he has $130,000 in his bank. He could have used his own money. But he refused. That's... Think about it. Now think, it's a think, business transaction. <laughs> look, look. You got to think like Trump. All right? You have to think like Trump. Because this is, this is how he was thinking. Why? <laughs> like he's this is the stupidest uh, shit I've ever heard of, dude. It is just so funny. No, no, no. Think about Trump, like in his mentality at that time. He's like, I'm not going. I'm not going to use my own money to pay off this bitch. <laughs> I was rooting for this man, bro. Okay, no fucking forgetful ass, goddamn. No, he Biden. literally. He's being indicted because he was just being dumb. Like no. <laughs> he wasn't even being smart. No, 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 no. He wasn't being dumb. He was being cheap, <laughs> which is so much funnier. It is so much funnier. It is so much funnier. He didn't want to use his own bank money to pay off this bitch, so he's just like, "Look, just call the accountant. Tell him, tell him it's for, tell him it's for new decorations. All right, I don't care what you use." Oh, so he did it. He did it dirty too. So it looks like, according to the court filings, when Cohen faced federal criminals in the Trump organization. They blended the hundred and thirty dollar payment into a thousand dollars. Yeah, hundred thirty thousand dollar payment <laughs> with four hundred twenty thousand dollars in total. Dude, pay your hundred. That's probably why wow. it took so long for them because they had to process all those records. Pay your hundred and thirty dollars. That's all she needs. That's all she wants. Uh, she didn't even have that great of tits, anyways. They're fake. Everyone thinks they're real. In fact, they're fake. They're the fakest titties I've ever seen before. <laughs> I will, in fact, not say that I did fuck her, but I did. <laughs> and I did say that that pussy was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> say, say. They're like, Mr. Trump, yes, you. if you could please get back into your seat. I'm like, I'm just saying, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there before. Disgusting. <laughs> well, he called it though too, didn't he? Predict that Dude. he was going to get arrested. So like, by yeah. Tuesday so or he something? said he was two days off. So he said that's he, totally. He predicted that he was going to, and he even said he's like, I didn't even know. Like literally, the press is telling me I that they. I believe the witch hunt will backfire massively. Oh, that's on right. Joe so he Biden. is playing his card beautifully. He is playing the victim card. And using it for political gain. He's trying to become a martyr. Dude, that is exactly what his goal That's is. That's what's going to happen. You think you could look. look. <laughs> you can't see it, but you're. They took the our line, leader. Yeah, <laughs> they took our Messiah. <laughs> they no. took my lover. Okay, Daryl, calm down. Calm down, Daryl. They, they stop. took our germs. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, get you got a boner, Daryl. Gonna get get off. All right, sorry everyone. Look, all right. All I'm saying is, <laughs> Trump got arrested. It's not good. He's just like he's everything to me. Daryl, get Daryl off. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl's way too sexually excited about Trump. He just thinks about him too much. You know, starts off as a curiosity. But yeah, the, what's gonna happen when these MAGA folks, right, like? When they see him being taken for jail for something that, like, a misdemeanor is v pretty rare that you go to jail on the first time that you have that misdemeanor, right? So it could be that, like, these people – and it happened through a jury, too. So it's like – it's not like it was, like, just a bunch of assholes, just some jury, like, you know. It was, like, people from Manhattan. But that's the thing. It's like, it's from New York, How dude. can you find people uh, who are non-biased? Because in order to be part of the jury. Uh, because it's jury. New York. Oh. That's why. Are you kidding me? There was at least two trans people in that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> at least. They're, They're like, we're going to throw was... a couple liberals in there, you know, just to kind of... <laughs> dude, that jury, that jury was, like... Eight black people and like one white person. <laughs> that that was like. Oh wait 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 wait. So unlike a regular jury called a petite jury, 
whose role is to determine the guilt of innocence to a defendant. A grand jury only decides where there is sufficient evidence to follow form. So I was right. So it's like a pretrial to determine even if you can press charges to begin with. That's why they can't say arrest because mm-hmm. he technically hasn't been arrested yet, but they're going to like have like a trial. But I the thing, way too the, much Law and Order. <laughs> the last part's also important. Law and Order SVU. It's not just for uh, the people. Neither the, the accused Great party show. nor his attorneys can attend and offer and arguments, and there is no judge. The only parties involved is the, the grand jury, jury and, the and the prosecutor. Okay, so he literally, he just interviews it's, a bunch of people and he's like, "Here's the evidence. Do you think he should be charged?" From a strictly legal standpoint, oh. it has nothing to do with anything in the actual oh. jury. Is there not going to be a not being being prosecuted? Guilty guilty. It's just here's the law. Well, they here's have what to, happened. Don't they? Where does this well, fall? but I feel hmm. like I don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know enough about that. You know, if Why there's any lawyers right around now? in the Why comments. Why did it take this long? I think I think it's just like you know a lot of court stuff takes a long time, but it also works out for a lot of like Democrats because they know for a fact he's running. You know, of course, this misdemeanor they're going to be like, let's take this opportunity to like you know make him look bad coming up to the election. You got to understand, all politics revolve around donors and who and getting elected. Mm-hmm. It's got nothing to do with bettering your own state. It's got everything to do to catering to the people who vote you in just enough that they vote you in, but also leave enough space to make money through donors who you eventually have to give like favors to. It's and then eventually those people business. then pay for your campaign to get elected to move things. And if you're good enough, you keep climbing up and climbing up. And Donald Trump is the queen <laughs> of fucking climbing up ladders without doing anything. There was this, there was this hilarious joke. He invented I'll, it, honestly. I'll put I'll put up the joke or whatever, but it's talking about like, oh yeah, it's by Shane Gillis where he talks like literally Trump got elected without stating a single fact, dude. The the entire time he would just be like, great public speaker. He just be like Donald J. Trump has not paid his taxes for the last fifteen years, and he's like, wrong. (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, is that all you have to say, Trump? And like, crooked Hillary, and then everyone just lose their shit, you know. This reminds me so much of the South Park episode that we watched today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of, of, so Mr. Garrison was on vacation in Myrtle Beach, and he started getting back into rallying like he was when he was, like, President Trump, you know, on the TV show. Yeah. It was so good, honestly. It was really funny, but he, like, got back into rallying. <laughs> it was like... I was like, he's coming this, back. They timed dude. this so perfectly. They really did. But uh, look, uh, I really wonder, like, what happens? Let's say that this goes through, right? Let's say they get a jury and a black disabled trans judge. <laughs> There's a lot out there. They can do it as much as anyone else can. <laughs> And don't let them. <laughs> don't let them tell you otherwise. I know. You're a strong queen, lady. I know plenty of black disabled judges. <laughs> They're my favorite people. Uh, <laughs> I'm Facebook friends with one. I we talk often. <laughs> he I donates mean, me frequently. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big donator, you know. <laughs> he slash they. I love it. <laughs> it's just. Uh, <clears throat> But it makes me really wonder, like, what happens when this goes through? And let's say, let's look at the hypothetical situation where he, they actually do find him guilty. They find that he did something illegal and that there's jail time. They give him the maximum jail time. What would Trump look like in a prison? Go. Wait, let's start day one. Oh, God. Day one. <laughs> in a private cell? Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. Trump would be in a private cell because everybody would freaking try to... They would blame no, 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 him. No, no, no. no, dude. Trump needs people. Okay? If Trump doesn't have people... The white supremacists would totally support him yeah, entirely. Yeah, yeah. Could you... <laughs> but all the other demographics... <laughs> Could you imagine, like... Probably all... would go after him. I don't know him. if it would be... I don't know. I don't know if I It wouldn't be safe, and he probably would be in a very high-security, exclusive prison. Like, it probably would honestly would be no worse than, like, house arrest. 
He'd still be able to wear suits, just an orange. I like to it's think. Fine. I like to think they put. <laughs> I like to think that they put like Trump into like general population. You know. <laughs> Just to see what would happen. <laughs> it's an social yeah. experiment. He comes in. He's like, hello, everyone. <laughs> it appears that this is now my cell. <laughs> and then, like, all the white supremacists are like, dude, no way. He's no here. Him. And he's like, ugh, no. <laughs> he's like, I need more than just you people. I hang out with you people all day. I can't. I need something more. All the black people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know, what the hell's going on? But I, I, Trump is such a, like, I feel like wherever he goes, like, he finds dirty ways to always get up, but he always ends up climbing the ladder. I bet you anything, Trump goes to jail, he owns that jail within, like, six months. I give him six months until he's created he treaties. Just pay, he'd be like, he'd just be like, you get a carton of cigarettes, you get a carton of cigarettes, I'll give you... You know, there'll be a special Oprah cake Trump. You. Yeah, Oprah yeah. Trump. Dude, I love the concept. He would just no, like make, he would just buy friendship everywhere. He they went. do plays exactly. for him. They do plays for him, like in the general population, and he's Musicals. just like, "You get a cigarette. You get a cigarette. <laughs> Little baby, I love you. I love you so." <laughs> I mean. The guy is super rich, for sure. But to be honest, I, I really don't think they would actually go through. He just gives everyone concessions. With, that's like, I don't think they would go through with it. Vending machines on every No, no, no. I'd like to think that they put him in general population. That, that would be the most, like, hilarious thing. He would just be like, you know, when I got here, there were all these gangs. Unbelievable. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. you never seen this kind of stuff. You know, the, the, the white supremacists, of course, they liked me. From the start, I never had to even try, you know. And the blacks, they said, you know, Donald, Donald, you got great, you got great, you got great swag. And I said, of course, you know, from the very beginning, you know, ever since I came in here, no fights. I have brokered every kind of deal between all the races. Now the Latinos, they don't, they seem, they don't really like me anymore. I may have deported their leader. I don't know. They keep telling me these things. I'm not sure. They're very angry. But we figure, we're we figuring it out. We're making tamales tomorrow. It's going to be a great thing. Uh, yeah, I've never been more happy my entire life. You know, finally we're here. And it's just, you look around, everything's just ordered. Just not, <laughs> like, the, like, he just has no idea what he's doing. But the entire place is just, like, absolutely, like, they're just like, yeah, we got to figure it out. And be like, hey, Senor Donald. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I was told that if uh, you had somebody to clean your toilet, that you get a uh, honey bun a day. And he's like, it's a very good job. <laughs> very oh good job. God. You'd be working for Trump. <laughs> I have a town named after me. <laughs> when you get out, you have a job. <laughs> He's like, this is very good, senor, but I cannot go back to my gang because, you know, you kill, you deported our leader, you know, our cabron. He's just like, I understand. I get it. Okay. But you know what? You get a job and I'm going to raise you up to two honey buns a day. Absolutely. Best deal you can get. You've never seen deals like these before. And he's like, okay, cabron, it's all right. Wait, I'll wait. Do Did you say honey buns? Yeah, like the How do you, else do you think you get paid? Two honey buns? Two honey buns a day. What are two honey buns? Like the things you get from the vending machine. Like the little... Oh, I know what a honey bun, like the, the bread is. <laughs> but like, what's the, what's the You're like, term? What's what a vending mean? machine? <laughs> I know what it is. Like, what is... It's a honey bun. Paying? You never seen a honey bun? Oh, who pays him in actual honey buns? I thought it was like a weird term for like a hundred dollars. Like a break. Yeah, um, like something like I thought. You it was think like a weird you think slave. they have a hundred dollars in jail? When he, I was thinking when he got out. I'm so confused. You They're pay taking ramen noodles and mashing it up in like a single serving Doritos. In jail, bag. Dude, in jail you trade. In jail you trade three three. It three. <laughs> three three. In, in jail you trade three things: drugs, food. Or your asshole. <laughs> These are the three things that you can offer in jail. And this is essentially how it goes. Because you know that the like most people who end up in jail, like you end up with problems because you have debt. Mm -hmm. Right? Because essentially what happens, you go there, you're like, you know, you haven't gotten your commissary yet. You haven't got money into your account. And then 
you get some guy comes up to you and he's just like, you imagine like Donald coming up to you. <laughs> you're like, Dude, brand, you're, would... you're brand new at the jail. You're like brand new there. You sit down. And he's just, he just sits right next to you and he's just like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, first day. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, and he's like, it's rough out here, I know. I know. I bet you don't have anything in your account horrible, absolutely horrible. You know, but, but I, have, I have the best people here. You've never seen people like the people that I have, and we got all kinds. Of, we got honey buns. Okay. We have Snickers. Ramen. We have ramen. ramen. <laughs> we got ramen. We even have... We have the we have the Asian ramen. I made I made you know the Asians. They had a gang here, but then I came here. I dissolved it. <laughs> it's it's absolutely gone now. But now they make ramen. It's great. <laughs> all you have to do is sign over fifty percent of all your turtle earnings for the next ten years. Easy and simple. <laughs> Trump would. I think he would just rock jail. I think he would. I think he would. Be, he he would be the king of that fucking jail by the end of it. Absolutely. People would be sad that he'd like leave. They would. <laughs> they would. <laughs> They're like, we missed Trump. You're the best. Trump. <laughs> Could you imagine his? That's oh, all, right. homie. Have the... you ever been to the South? That's what they sound like right now. Yeah, I bet there are <laughs> thousands of Trump supporters that are sobbing right now. I'm just now. I'm just imagining Trump on his last day at jail. Just be like. <laughs> It's been amazing, everyone. I can't believe it. Look at the progress that we made. Look, Fernandez. Fernandez, come here. Come here. Look at this guy. Look, when I met him, he was a gangbanger. Okay? I could barely understand him. Now he's got great English. Look at him. Hola. It's amazing. Look at him now. Now he works for me. <laughs> he sold he sold over 35 packs of cigarettes just this week. Unbelievable. You'll never believe. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl, come here, Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> he used to be a Nazi. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. But we talked to him, right? Bad, 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 bad. We love, we love our African Americans. Speaking of African Americans. <laughs> he just does like a whole speech. <laughs> like, it's like similar to when he was like leaving his presidency. <laughs> oh my it's god he, he causes an insurrection in the jail <laughs> they're like everyone's out of control they're, how did they get tiki torches <laughs> <laughs> we're taking over today <laughs> this whole place is crooked tiki <laughs> like, it's not you, you just went straight to tiki torches not just like some like <laughs> Creative way, like a t-shirt over like a stick or something. He went straight to Tiki Torches. He's it's just like hilarious. his fine his final straws. Like they promised us Jello, we didn't get Jello today. I don't. This is the last no. straw. It's time to take this place. He just, he just literally buys the jail. Yeah. <laughs> we ride to the cafeteria at dawn. <laughs> we make much better food. <laughs> it's five star cuisine. <laughs> He's much happier. Yeah, that would be that would be the way he'd do it. He caused an insurrection, the and then he and then he'd buy the jail. <laughs> you know, and then he'd go back and he's like, "What's up? What's up, my my? <laughs> what's up, my African Americans? I miss you. How's everyone doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, LeBron, I love it. I love it. <laughs> How's your daughter doing? <laughs> He's just friends with like all the inmates. They're like, oh, hi, Donald. <laughs> hi, Donald. How's, how's it going? to be like, do you like your new mattress? I knew it was all tore up, but I had my guy. We had the best people. <laughs> I would trust Donald Trump to run a prison. I mean, he did run the country. Yeah, he can run a prison. I'm just saying that might be the next good investment, Donald. You know, Trump, if you're watching. he's got he's got management experience. <laughs> I I would approve. Donald Trump right? was like, <laughs> he looks good on paper. <laughs> Donald Trump was like the epitome of like putting something on your resume that's clearly never something that you've ever learned about <laughs> yeah. or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's like... Like very irrelevant yeah. to the job that you're applying for, but yeah. still kind of a He's interesting like, I've skill. managed every business ever. So I should manage the jail the arrested in. Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you're applying for like a tech job and you're like, there was technology in the restaurant that I worked at, so I was a tech manager. <laughs> 
<laughs> like they asked Trump, be like, do you have any experience when it comes to when it comes to like being president? And he's like, you know, <laughs> he's like, I learned everything from I, I need to know. I've been I've been going around shaking hands with everyone else. You know, my hand stinks. They're, these politicians, they're dirty. They're absolutely dirty. I'll never believe it. <laughs> you know, he's just like he just. He just found his way to the charisma to the top. That really just shows that the president really doesn't really have to be like someone smart for a country just to survive. The commander in chief doesn't have to be smart for a country. Dude, he dude, just has to be angry. Dude, we, <laughs> dude, we survived. I just imagine him would be dude, so angry. I'm angry so person. stressed out by the fact that our commander in chief doesn't have to have literally any qualifications. They can be senile, they can be <laughs> fucking a celebrity, they can be a goddamn dude. What pick me next, dude? Bryce Bryce Hall could, be a could become president. Bryce Hall could become president. He could just be like <laughs> Bryce Hall, twenty twenty four. It just like goes off on TikTok. It just, it just goes, it goes like Biden, like 20 million votes, Trump, like 15 million votes, Bryce Hall, like 60, 60 million votes. <laughs> Be like, oh God, here we fucking go again, dude. Like, like, what was the numbers that we looked up? How old do you have to be to be a president? 32? I think it's thirty five. I think it's I think it's thirty five. I think it's thirty five. Congressman at twenty five and up. Right. But I think so. for the presidency, I believe it's thirty five and up. Jeremiah. All right, let's see. Thirty five or over to serve as president. To be a senator, a person must be age thirty or over. To be a representative, a person must be age twenty five. Who was the youngest president? Wait, to Random be president? Thing, I'm just oh, like no, to be curious. Who's, you who's have to be 35 to be... Who you could be 25. president? Dude, I could be in Congress right now? Yeah. I just took a shot of Pink Whitney, <laughs> and I could be in fucking Congress? <laughs> that could have been burning. Got... I'm drinking a fucking cherry lime seltzer. <laughs> John F. Kennedy at 43. The oldest person to sit in prison is Joe Biden at 78. Oh, no uh, wonder. I'm He's so, so Have you seen upset. the video of him being guided by a blind person? The blind leading the blind. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, He's like where uh, am I going? Uh, Over here, Mr. President. Uh, Why? <laughs> I, I just, I don't want to think about it. I just wanted to end. Angel has left the building. That's all I want. That's all I want. He's on the sidewalk. He just keeps walking. 78. 78. When he started to be president. Yeah. I feel like he should have been seriously tested for dementia because Here's, I've seen what dementia can do and it can rapidly dude, deteriorate a person. Dude, if you, have to, if you have to retest to get your license... Right, and and your testicles are fucking hitting nearing your ankles. You mean your knees? You probably shouldn't, dude. You think <laughs> Bidens are at the knees, bro? You realize that every year goes down about an inch, okay? <laughs> Until you start stepping on it, and then that's why old guys are always in a chair. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just Not like, worth it. yeah, and they go in, they go into the chair, and then they're put on Fox, and they're just like, he got arrested. Go! Damn it! That's what that's what a seventy eight should be doing. That's what Biden should be doing. Biden should be in his fucking uh, comfy chair, talk, complaining jello. about Mexicans. Maybe you know, jello. that's what he should be doing. He shouldn't be president. Mm -hmm. He should be. And you know, how old is Trump? Isn't he like seventy two? He was seventy two. He's seventy six. Dude, he. He was 72 when he was a president. Trump seems so much more alert than... Like, well, I can't Joe I can't is, stop doing Joe this now, dude. now. I can't stop doing the this. The xylophone? The I, Trump xylophone? My, or, I, I completely messed that up. What is that called? Accordion. Accordion. No, Thank it, you. Did you, to do the... <laughs> the Trump... No, no, no. Xylophone. 
No, hold on. All right, everybody. This is how you do the He's Trump. He's got the hand gestures. He's very like I love it. So he never, he no, he doesn't move his shoulders. He never does. He does. He doesn't move his shoulders ever. What he does is he put he he puts his hands back and forth like this, and he'll go from he'll go from this to this, and then this to this. And then, like, open hands. This is, like, this is when he gives his final, like, you know, like, uh, Ron Paul's wife is ugly. I don't, don't know what else I could say. I'm just looking at her. Wow, she's ugly. I've never seen a more uglier wife in my entire life. But you know what? I hope them the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love trans people. I have a tran I I have a trans friend right now. You'll n yeah, you'll never believe the things that we talk about left and right, you know. The, I all I care about is if there's titties. That's my main thing. <laughs> I've been to Bangkok. All I got to say, beautiful town, beautiful woman. <laughs> well, he's 76, but he seems so much more alert than Biden. Biden is like he's just kind of spacing out. You know, he doesn't know what's really going on. Trump seems like he's still got, like, 30 years to go, dude. Trump is definitely living until, like, 110. That would well, be Clinton crazy. was 46 years old when he was sworn into presidency. Dude, have our, like, uh, our presidents he have just so much gotten older than that. Older and older had, and like, older. white hair, right? Some people really do, like, once they turn, like, Look I've at, seen men... Like I had people in high school that had salt and pepper hair. Hey Jamie. So people just like <laughs> look up get white uh, real fast. Look up Obama before presidency yeah. versus after. Oh man, Jeremy, he aged it's, so it's much. Jeremy, you're gonna get like Joe Rogan fucking sued. Jamie. Some shit. Hey Jamie, can you pull this up? Copyright infringement or some shit, <laughs> Jamie. Nah, Jamie's cool. <laughs> He was 61 when he was sworn into presidency. And, yeah. Look at that, dude. Wow. That's what that job does to you. That's what that job does to you. That's what, four years eight, of your president. Eight, no, eight, eight years. years. Yeah, no, it's eight years. years. That's eight years of listening to Michelle yap in your fucking face <laughs> while you're trying to run a country. Mm -hmm. He's like, God, he's like, God damn it. He I aged like 25 years. I wonder if, like, Democrat leaders ever get jealous of Republic, like, if Democrat, like, husbands get jealous of, like, Republican husbands, because, like, Who they're... age much better. Well, that and, like, like their wives are just being yappy, you know, and they're like, God, I wish I could, you know, but I'm a Democrat, so, like, I'm a feminist, and according to my, like, <laughs> to my polls, uh, this is how I go, you know, but, like, Republicans, it's like... You know, they're not going to get fired for giving their wife a little. <laughs> you know, they're, they're like, damn, dude. Like, they got so much more freedom to be, like, fucking dicks to their wives when all these... Wow. So this is, like, a bunch of presidents that are side by side. He looks the same. Well, not Roosevelt, but... Yeah. No, the one before that. The one before that. Not Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, William Taft looks exact. He looks happier in the second video or the picture than he does the first picture. He was younger too. He like lost wrinkles. I know. He. I think it's the lighting though. Like yeah. the first picture was really dark. You know why? You know why he looks this good? Because he paid off his porn star with cash. <laughs> That's why he looks this good. Because <laughs> he had no scandals, okay? He was smart. Sex were a very new thing back in the Look 19th. at this guy. He also paid his fucking prostitutes with cash. No. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely smiling more, but he's def he looks a lot Bro, older. That was a two-year difference. <sighs> Wait. Oh, yeah, because he there passed a war? away, didn't he? That was a <laughs> yeah, he had a heart attack and died in his sleep. Okay, well, all right. That's so, Next. dude. That's that so. That's so manly. That one. Uh, that, is that is the most manly thing I've ever heard. Vice president took over. Yeah. That guy looks the same. He he looks. How many of you learned about like half these fucking people in school? Because I didn't. Well, these are people who what? just. What are you looking for? Truman, what? I do. No, Truman did. That is terrifying. Eisenhower. I, I hate Eisenhower these looks like Gollum. <laughs> Next, <laughs> thank you, please. Eisenhower afterwards. What the like, hell? I totally agree. Dwight Eisenhower? Who the 
we've trusted this man. He looks like the bad guy from fucking Charlie I'm and the Chocolate sure Factory. I'm pretty sure we have a damn. I'm pretty sure we have a dam in Colorado that's... Oh, no, it's the Eisenhower Just Dwight. Tunnel. The Eisenhower Tower is named after him. Well, he... The tunnel in, in, up in 970? Look, I guess. it's got to work on that stair. Here's the thing. Here's the... Know like, you know, that. when I first heard about this news, when I first heard about this news, I kept thinking, You're like, wrong. I can't believe that a president Same. would have... Like, would have an affair with a porn star. But then I started, like, really thinking about it. And I'm like, I'm sure that the majority of American presidents were having affairs with some kind of, like, porn star. But they just, like, they weren't in a place, they weren't in a time where, like, cancel culture came in. And now, like, he's the one that gets in trouble. Yeah, Ronald Reagan didn't Ronald age a day Reagan. during his presidency. Fucking eight years, too. At all. Damn. Like, he years. looks the exact... Same. Even same. the gray is in the exact same yeah, place. He's happy before. He's happy after. With a nicer Reagan suit, too. too. Yeah, <laughs> he approved. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the... Nicer. That's, that's, like that's the difference. That's the difference between a Democrat husband and a Republican husband. <laughs> this man's getting his dick sucked. Okay, maybe he... Okay, looks like George... H.W. Bush had the soul sucked out of him. So it could go either way. If you're a Republican husband, you oh. either... Yeah. See, Clinton was so gray, and he was 46 he years was, old. He was already old. Bill Clinton got a glow up, it looks like. He, uh, Well, yeah, after all the affairs that he had, I'm sure he did. He looks It drunk. has the fountain of youth. Yeah, it's he sure. looks drunk. Oh, he had <laughs> the fountain. I would look stone all the time as the president. <laughs> he had the fountain of youth already, and all he had to do was take a few flights out to an island to get it. That's the entirety of that. George W. Bush. Monica Lewinsky. Okay, let's not... <laughs> we, we don't have to go through all of the precedent. No, that's the thing. We just did. We just did? Yeah, we already did. You're in full circle now, bro. I was like, I'm just we trying to look really at Obama, did. dude. <laughs> it was just more that we just... I bet you're bad, I, you just kind of went dude, through. Dude, I, like, I oh, was what? trying to rapid fire these jokes, dude. You were going way too fast. Faster than that, buddy boy. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. This is <sighs> the Wild West. I, I've already had one president fucking <laughs> arrested during my fucking career, all right? I got to get going, dude, before society falls. Because there will be a World War Three at some point. Something dude, there has to dude, be. Dude, something like, has to so go wrong. There's so much chaos in the world right now. We're actually starting I just want to hide. Russia, like, uh, Russia, China, becoming uh, agreements since with uh, Biden's administration and all that. That was one thing Look, that Trump was doing. Look, okay, so speaking, speaking of that, I here, here's a little, like, personal note. Look, I Spooky. am not a fan of most presidents in general right Politics but like suck. yeah it, and it's like now we're faced if if our election in 2024 is trump with probably trump DeSantis versus biden right you got to ask yourself who do you want the nuclear codes in their hands while like a potentially a really big conflict could like come in you know a worldwide conflict so you think okay if if it's biden he's probably going to be a little bitch about it and he's just going to like not really do that much and he's senile like do you want a senile person to like have to have the codes or do you want an asshole so who would out of everyone answer would you rather have a senile old man who doesn't know what's going on or an asshole who only thinks for himself to have the codes first hannah i i hate to say this but trump i feel that he is a much better person when it comes to business like i'm sorry our economy is True. down the fucking toilet. We've all suffered the economy. Yeah. And you know what? Trump had 2020. He had fucking COVID. And you know what? He still fucking killed it. He rocked it. And we weren't, I don't think, nearly as devastated as if, yeah. like, Biden had been in charge during that yeah, time. Yeah, Biden, $5 And, and you know what? I'm, I'm yeah. a person who's like, I've never been really supportive of Trump, but these last, like, this past year yeah. or so, 
it's changed and I never I I almost like I can't believe I'm saying this but I think I would vote for Trump yeah me too yeah down with the lips <laughs> down with the lips down it's, with the it's lips strictly more of like from a business standpoint <laughs> like honestly would you rather someone who could like eliminate de- debt rather than increase it because yeah all Biden did was just like he don't, he's increased it so drastically that like our he's not making any decisions it's just the goddamn fucking cabinet yeah but who friends. signs off on it dude biden i swear Barely to god him. i don't dude he that's what i he probably mean. has at one least of those, trump like, was a lot ergonomic more pens where you have to like use a straight <laughs> arm to, like, dude <laughs> Biden wakes for the shaking, you know. Yeah. yeah. Biden literally wakes up and he's just like, "I want ice cream," <laughs> and they're like, "It's okay, Biden. Like, I let's ride my bike. I want to ride my bike today. <laughs> I want, <laughs> I want to, I want to ride my bike today." And Trump's like been up since like five a.m. on like amphetam pumped up on amphetamines and fucking going to his lawyer's office and yelling at people in his office and going home and being like, "Fuck you, Ivanka. I don't really care." <laughs> <laughs> We've been over this. All right, you're fat. You keep getting fatter every time. I'm supposed to be president next season. I can't believe this. I can't take this. <laughs> and then his son, Baron, comes into the office. He's like, Jesus Christ, you can't come in here, son. You're scaring everyone. You're too tall. <laughs> you're too tall. He's, wait, dude, look up a photo of Baron Trump. This kid is like seven feet tall out of like nowhere. Look up his height, specifically. No, just look at the images. Six, seven. Yo, Baron's so a fucking two inches unit. Tall, two inches shorter than Ryan. He's like, what, 17? Too? Images. Go to images. Is it only like 17? Yeah. That's tall. That is really tall. That is tall. really tall. <laughs> and he's only 17 right now, isn't Dude, he? Dude, how tall so is he? That's like, probably grow even more. That's like nine inches taller than the average height in an American No, it's go to he that go to that photo on the left. Taller, like just with them walking to the very probably. left. There you go. That's how tall he is. Like he would definitely be seven. He'd be close to seven feet tall. Well, look at his parents. How? <laughs> how? Where did the gene come from? Who side of the family? It was I think selective Ivanka's breeding. I think do Trump <laughs> do Trump's breeding. like Trump's like six two, isn't he? He's like six one. Well, she's tall. Your height comes from your mother's side. It's an she old wives' is tale. She's, tall. she's European. And, I mean, she is wearing heels most likely here, but he's six three. I told you he's six. Oh yeah, tall. that makes sense. And how tall is Ivanka? Wait, wait. Suppose. Oh wow! <laughs> if she looks like. Wow. That's wow. like five seven, five eight. Dude, everyone you know be Donald hating. Trump has a star of uh, a Hollywood star. He, yeah, because uh, yeah, he's an actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe Biden's six foot. What the fuck? It got destroyed it's like several Obama times during his presidency. President's just like supposed to be tall. I think it has to do with like tall men generally are more confident therefore they end up more successful in life when then they end up like getting better education better jobs and then so it's like it's a likelihood it's How like tall is Ivanka? yeah Ivanka so Trump. when i worked for zales they always taught me that um when selling jewelry tall blonde women are considered the best person to buy jewelry from where the short brunette women or dark haired women are the ones who are most trusted with finances. Like when you're signing up for credit cards or like finance plans. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Dude, they got you down to a science. A science. Jesus so Christ. She's, yeah. she's, you're five foot. Nine. So she, you guys are the same height. Ivanka? Oh no, she's five foot ten. Yeah, she's so tall. She's five ten. She's so an inch taller than you. My grandma's five like eleven, and then my mom's five foot ten, and then I'm yeah. five foot nine. My dad's five foot eight. Ryan's five foot nine. And then his youngest brother, who's you mean nineteen, six foot is nine? six eleven. Yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 he said, said five foot nine. Five yeah. foot nine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was eleven. like, I'm like, five ten. That dude towers over me. <laughs> yeah, he's six. I rem- I'll never forget at the party the other day. When he, it's like it was started beeping because we were cooking stuff and it went off. And he just went doop, <laughs> and it was like it was like a hero moment. Like I swear <laughs> to God, the whole party was like, God damn, <laughs> this was the opportune stretches, moment to have a man like that. When like, he stretches <laughs> in the morning, he puts his hands up and he just like stretches against the ceiling and he, like <laughs> half poses standing. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> like what the fuck. 
You know, why don't why don't we just have elections based off of like an ambiguous fact like every year? You know, it's like <laughs> like the tallest man in the world, like in the tallest American doesn't like yogurt. Yeah, the the, the person <laughs> who hates yogurt the most like red jello, gets to be president jello. for a year. <laughs> and it's just like we just cycle every year. We just do new things just by like, a random yeah. like tidbit about themselves. You take a poll but and what then if there's multiple you pick people? one, and then they don't even know that they're going to... It's like the Hunger Games, but for presidents. Oh, yeah. They don't even know. It's like a poll. No, and... but that's not fair, because then you can volunteer for Hunger Games. Okay, and no volunteering. No different, volunteering. Different no, no volunteering games. is true. President Games, different game. At some point... <laughs> different games. At some point, it's like Fernando who doesn't know English, and it, it, he's, like, been elected and everything, and it's, like, a huge, <laughs> like, like he, you know, all the votes <laughs> came in, he finally made it through, and then he comes up to the the mic for like the first time and he's like hola <laughs> yo no sé que tu quieres <laughs> and they're like <laughs> the whole crowd just goes absolutely that's, nuts that's a South Park episode butters Montequilla oh, he's like uh, I, uh, uh, uh. I love that episode <laughs> <laughs> I love when I I, call, I, I love I when Montekia gets I picked up. Montekia. Yeah, I love when he gets picked up by his like adoptive parents, which are just two white people who need like a Mexican to clean their yeah, fucking house. Where's Montekia? Like where's Montekia? We got look what we got for you, but she's Montekia. like yeah, but put up the blower. <laughs> yeah. Work, work, Mexican work. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And he just like every time he reads, says, "Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, oh. <laughs> those Mexicans, they work hard. <laughs> I've never seen them work harder than anyone else. Yeah, we all know Matakia. <laughs> Mexican work." Oh, I remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They give him. <laughs> it's a present, Montekia. What present it? Wow, a present is for me. Oh, you're such a happy little Mexican. <laughs> a power blower. Montekia, a light blower. I have no idea how it works, but I'm sure you do. Say, how'd you like to go in the backyard and play? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, and then like, and then the next scene, he talks about like the parents go like, I don't understand why he's not happy. We've already given him a leaf blower, and a we've vacuum. also and a vacuum, <laughs> and he's not happy. <laughs> and then they drop him off with like a Del Taco. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. like those. It's a uh, uh, something pollo. And yeah, like some some kind of Mexican pollo village or something like that. And then he ends up becoming like the king of Mexico. And then all the Mexicans leave the United States, mm-hmm. and there's too many leaves. <laughs> it actually fertilizes your lawn. It makes for better grass. Than your are you, so are you saying that Mexicans are bad for agriculture? <laughs> Is that what you're saying, babe? No, I think our agriculture would crumble, <laughs> honestly. I mean, we would have no food. We need they the Mexicans. Like for grass, they, we don't need them. If we didn't have any Mexicans, who would cook our Panda Express? It's Asians? true. Have you noticed that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one. I'm sorry. Asians don't when, cook when, up when, when, Yeah, when the fuck have you ever seen Asians behind the yeah. making? Mexicans. Chris Parker. Literally every single one of them is... For like, real, they're all the Asians. The manager's okay, name Okay, but Bing. that's Parker, though. Like, the manager's name is fucking Bing. They're all straight Chinese, dude. I was like, this shit be authentic. <laughs> It's not though. It's, it's like not. the it's not, dude. Like, I'm like, do they lies. souls die every time they make something like this? This goes against my. You know, what? wrong, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong. They're just pouring like an Asian Trump every time, like a Chinese. Trump. I've been- <laughs> That reminds me. I've been to every Panda Express every single time. It's a Mexican working back there. I've never seen every a single wrong, <laughs> wrong. 
Wrong. My opponent here, he's crooked. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, I've been to every single, every single Panda Express. I'm the biggest fan, they told me. They sent me an email. They said, wow, we can't believe how much Panda Express you're eating. I can't believe it. And I said, wow, you know, you only have Mexicans back there. You better be checking their green cards. That's all I'm saying. Good food. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> just Trump the entire time just talking about <laughs> No, I swear, I swear to God, at every time, at, whenever I've gone to like an, a, a, like, a, there's always Mexicans working in the weirdest fucking like foods that are not Mexican, and every time we you go to like Chipotle, it's never a bunch of Mexicans back there. That's teenagers. That's not. It's true. always teenagers. White. That's not true. Oh, cooking the food, it's Wrong. always the Mexicans. Serving the food, it's Wrong. a lot of Mexicans. <laughs> I work but, in Chudova. We have one Mexican. Babe, Wrong. Chipotle you at your ha- nearby yours work, all the cooks are Mexican. Have you not noticed that? Wrong. That was like a charge. You time. cannot sit there and t- I've been there. Wrong. I'm going- can you smack him for me? Dude, there's so much power. So, my I- arms are really short for my height. You know what's like <laughs> I understand why he does it now, dude. You could just keep doing that. You could just. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Because then the person just keeps getting more amped up and amped up because of the lack of respect about, like, how much effort you're willing to put into this, like, conversation. Be like, I can't believe it. You could just gaslight everyone. Could you imagine, like, Ivanka? Be like, I found these panties on your floor. How dare you, Donald? Donald. (laughs) Whatever she sounds like, dude. I swear, I've never heard Ivanka speak once. Not a single time I've ever heard he's like. I swear to God, dude. These European women, they're well behaved, dude. (laughs) Ivanka used to be a model. There's nude pictures of her on the internet. Dude, he would. I swear to God, like. On the internet. (laughs) She come home. She come home like. Cat, she would catch him cheating on him. Oh, like, straight up, straight up, just, like, humping in front of her. And she's like, I can't believe you could do this to me. And he just looks at her, and he's like, wrong. I never did it. <laughs> and there would be no power, dude. There's no way Trump's that she could get past it. It wasn't me by Shaggy. <laughs> it wasn't me. Wrong. It, <laughs> She caught me on the counter. What it wasn't mean? me. She caught me in the shower. In the shower. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> she even there caught me on camera. She even caught me. No, okay, yeah, no, hold on. Now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> she, ca- <laughs> she even caught me on camera. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was the Russians. It was Russians. the Russians. It wasn't me. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry, we just had to take a, a little little drinking break, a little food break. You know how it is. We came back in. Uh, yeah, so we, besides, like, our, literally a president might be fucking arrested in the future, might not be, I don't know, might be elected. Like, literally, Trump's future could is open to so many possibilities right now, you know. But you know who's also just had their opportunities brought up and opened up for them. The one and only Andrew Tate has now been officially, I believe, released and put on house arrest. Um, He spent three months in a Romanian jail. I believe they extended his stay three separate times. I remember recently hearing that they extended it again, but it looks like it went through. Um, Both him and his brother were accepted to move to detention to house arrest. So he's still technically arrested, but he's just going to be in his mansion, which is, I assume, like way better than a Romanian prison. Uh, and I he, hope so, yeah. Duh. <laughs> I feel uh, like you get more scare, square acreage that way. Like you can actually like move around. A slip and slide? Yeah, dude, seriously. Uh, here's the thing is, I feel like if you can look up porn and play Call of Duty, is that really prison? No. You know what I mean? Not. Like, what? what's the worst? Like, you can't go to your girl's house to fuck? You she know? She just got She can come over. Yeah, so like... You can still fine. fuck. Oh, you can still... If you're, yeah. if you're like... If you're sly enough, you can still fucking like do drugs. You can still drink. You can still... You could do everything. Not if you just, have the alcohol monitoring monitor on your ankle. I doubt he does because I don't think... Like... 
I don't think he would. Anything that he did. Because is, his, his charges aren't um, uh, like alcohol drug related. I don't, think it, I don't think it matters because it's in Romania. But yeah. Dude, <laughs> Ro- you think it's they like, have an like, alcohol <laughs> division there, dude? They have like, their DUI division is one guy and he just looks you in his eyes and like, drunk. Take him to jail. And he's like, sober. He is fine. <laughs> drunk. Sober. Good. He's drunk. fine. <laughs> Server. Mm, my friend, you are on very slight line, server. You are fine. You go home to wife. I fucking hate you. You go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Sklemleski, I knew that you were going to be here one day. You drunk, you go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Huelal. laughs> That's how they figure out, like, how they go to jail, dude. They don't even <laughs> care, dude. But, yeah, so, I mean, like, so here we have, dude, this is such a, this is, think about it. This is such a mixed day for the red pillars. Oh, dude, the red pillars must be having such a, like, it's, it's like a, uh, it's like an amusement park, dude. No, roller coaster. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster ride. Think about it. Uh, the, the, all of the Red Pillars, most Trump fans, I'm assuming, are also Andrew Tate fans. And all Andrew Tate fans are pretty that close. I opposite. I feel like there's also people in between as well. Well, I think it's a lot of capitalists. All squares are rectangles. A bunch of dudes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of true. dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so not all Trump fans are Andrew fans, but not all tr- Andrew fans are Trump fans. Exactly. But there's a lot of crossover. Yeah. There is a majority of crossover. Imagine yeah. being a fan of both. You wake up. <laughs> you're one's released, one's arrested. Everyone. Like you're, you're just like, you're, what the fuck is your going messiah? On? Your messiah gets like taken by the Romans. And then you're that's how they're seeing guys. it right now. I guarantee you, they're just like Jesus was taken by the Jews once again. I feel, like, like, and, I feel like, like Andrew Tate's like a daddy to a lot of men. Like well, he's just so, like a god. Like, well, he's just like like no, 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 no. Trump is daddy. Andrew is kind of like. What's, the stepson what's, what's that comes the, to what's power, the, of the bastard. When you're like all about alpha male, like is isn't there a word for that? Like the opposite of feminism, an Mas- alpha male, masculinity. You mean I a guess. sigma male? A sigma, a sigma male. male. There's sigma yeah. males. There's alpha males. There's beta males. Beta okay. males are like the the kind of cucks or whatever, and the alpha males I've are like too the many of those like in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> and segment males, I believe, are even more than they're alpha They're, like, males. more than alpha. They're, like, their ego is so... Okay, here we go. A male counterpart to feminism is masculist. So I was right. I was on the, I was on the right. I'm a so, masculist? I have never heard that one time in my entire fucking life. You fucking masculist? That's, like, a masochist. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, to be a masculist, you have to be a masochist. Because what the fuck are you going to go around, like, talking about, like, I believe that men are better. Be like... Like, we all know it, but, like, we're not going to say it out loud, dude. We don't want to let them know that, know that we can beat them off. I know, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine the government was like when they start letting ladies get into the government. Like, the first few ladies, they're just being like... <laughs> <laughs> they think that we count their votes, dude. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> did you, like, speaking of women voting, did you know Wyoming was the first state to allow women voting? Wyoming was? Yeah, Wyoming. Did. And it was like back in like the night, like early 1800s. It's like mid 1800s. Yeah, you know why? Because, because there weren't enough. Literally. I, that was not what I was going to at yeah. all. I was prostitutes. Not <laughs> prostitutes. No, because prostitutes were such a large source of income that they ended up becoming elective leaders because they used that money and, and then repurposed it into education for their children, repurposed it for the community. So, I mean, there's a They're whole... Like, my pussy minded funny. <laughs> <laughs> it may smell funny, but you know, at least to a child, got some I education, used... girl. Like, I count your blessings. Hound, hound. <laughs> your child's education that came from my potato, yeah. So there you. was literally, like, a woman who was just, like, 
anonymous. Where's my W two for my pussy? <laughs> I need to know right now where my W two is, and that better be accurate. You're paying like forty dollars to Medicaid. <laughs> Your pussy is like paying for. I mean, literally, like think about like all the IRS agents that have to process the OnlyFans receipts. Oh my god, Do you think I can only imagine. Up? They're like blowjob video, fifty dollars. That or they well, just that's them. thirteen. Percent so of blessed. your total earnings, so that's going to be your net cost if you bring in the blowjob video. All right, now let's go to the back shots video. All right, looks like you made thirty dollars from this back shots Do you think video. They look up? Oh yeah. No, they, I don't think so. The ones they, the, they look, you don't think that they, they look them within up within a certain percent. I feel like if they make them over a certain amount, like they make Dude, over they, 100, no, no, no. You're absolutely the, they're going to be looking the at the Biden records. administration has they passed the bill right to increase like it was like eight hundred like million dollars or something like that, or it it could have been billion. I think it was billion. Why? Look it up, Jamie. We Is spent eight hundred billion dollars. So this past so we already paid for it we already paid for it. that's why gas is so fucking expensive uh, right. <laughs> because of this goddamn bill no because of all the spending but regardless they passed that like all of this money is going to go into the irs including one of those measures was that anyone that makes i think above like 11 grand now gets automatically reported to the irs it used to be like re- like 50 grand or whatever so biden doubles down yeah 43 billion dollars to be uh, going to the IRS, yeah, and that includes like a, like so many people. And they say they say it's, all of these people are not for normal people. It's only for the who uh, rich people. But you know that's not true, dude. They're not coming after billionaires. There's too many loopholes. They don't. What they do is they don't close the loopholes, but then they offer new laws that say, "Oh, this is like a wealth tax." It's mainly just for imaging, honestly. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, look, I'm putting an effort by hiring all these people to do their job." Well, politics are in the way of doing their jobs. So, do you really think they're going to be <laughs> just, successful? Just look up like IRS like OnlyFans. So it's all it's all just. It's <laughs> I wonder if there's like that's a because exactly that's like is. a. True. Independent contractor. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to make sense. Actually, I know that they do taxes. Oh, wow. Only fans creators have been contacted in IRS conference. Did Jamie? 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 Okay. Uh, have been contacted in IRS criminal. Get in that block. <laughs> 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 Wow, Jamie. OnlyFans creators have been contacted in IRS criminal investigation tax professionals say. I love how they have to say tax professionals say. You know, they can't just be like Larry said. I would love to see that in an article one day. Holy you know shit. what I mean? Like This guy three cubicles down from me, he did this investigation on this girl named Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. I feel like most OnlyFans creators are named like Jessica, Sarah, Megan. You know what I mean? Dude, Iris agents will actually or like, like Christine. they'll Christine. There's a lot of Christines. That Ima- are kind of imagine yeah. being the field agent that gets assigned to all the OnlyFans cases. So you have to go out to these girls' houses to make sure that they're legitimate OnlyFans models. Dude, that guy. That guy's living life right now. He just you think he like either he loves it or get... hate it because like honestly, if you think about it, like gynecologist, if you look at it every day, it's not gonna make you excited. Yeah. The casting call situation is like yeah. so. It's how pro- can you prove you made yeah. content? Yeah. He's like, well, I sit here on this couch, and my boyfriend will bring me food while I just finger my pussy. And I take my phone, and he's like, what angle do you use your phone at? And like, well, I put on this stand right here. He's like, okay. <laughs> and I, he's like, like legit studio. They're like, I use, I use dildos and different things. He's like, or did you write these off? And she's like, well, I didn't really think. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking down at his things. He's like, didn't write off dildos and vibrators for Jesus Christ. <laughs> just to, seriously though like when it comes to an irs technically if you're an independent contractor which you are as an only fans model 1099 yeah. technically technically if you buy a dildo you can write that off part of it you can write well the oh, other part of it is already there. inside of her anyway so we don't really have to worry about it you know the rest that's left out the balls the balls. The IRS gets the balls of the dildo. <laughs> the girl gets the rest. 
You know what I mean? The girl gets the rest. The balls go to the IRS. This is how it goes. This is how we've always known this. If you have a room specifically dedicated to being your office for your work, you can write off 10% of your living space for that room. <laughs> I know. He and I, we did the look. Did you see the look? We did the look. You did? <laughs> we did the look. Could you imagine going to your friend's house and just seeing tape? In like a little corner in their house, office. and they're like, "Yeah, yeah." They're like, "What is that for?" And be like, "Well, that's our office." Like, what do you do? And I'd be like, "Oh, we just fuck on camera." And you're like, "Ew, dude, I'm standing in the circle." You're like, you're in the fuck circle. You're in the fuck circle. This is our office, dude. This is legally. So you want me to get you a drink, or? <laughs> You work for me. Now, I guess you better. You step in the circle. You work for me. You work for me. You're an OnlyFans model, Dude, and, that's how, and that's how Andrew Club, yeah. like, vibe, and that's like, how Andrew Schultz. And that's how. And that's how Andrew got all of his models. He, <laughs> that's, how got, that's how Andrew Tate. That's how Andrew Tate got all his. He just got them in the ten percent of his house that's considered <laughs> an office. An office. Yeah, titles. you know. Oh. You stood in the circle. You got to be a cam model now. And and all these dumbass girls are like, ah, oh, okay. You mean I get to make money off this? I love this planet. How much money? I'm such about a this fucking video. queen. Okay. That's the only reason he got arrested, dude. <laughs> the IRS is just like, you made like millions of dollars and you did not give it all to me. <laughs> Like, what about the models that were victims or any of the IRS is like, yeah, that's horrible. Anyways, pay me <laughs> that money. That's what you deserve. That's, the IRS. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. That's I mean, my mom's a bookkeeper. IRS. She's done my taxes for years. Well, so, my mom knows all the. Andrew ones. Tate needs your mom's help more than ever right now. <laughs> he needs. I'll give you my mom's number if you're listening. He needs, to dude. Tate. Look up a photo of you, him. I got you a connection. That came well. out today. He looks like. He looks like a terrorist. He literally looks like a terrorist. And I, I, oh I, my I, god! I'm not saying that because he's. Dude, I just realized why he's shaving his head. Look that at this. Hairline, <laughs> though. Uh, Dude, ouch. he. I think he finally looks like like the guy that he looked like before he turned into this like huge influencer. Before he became top G. You mean R slash incel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh. Dude, he doesn't. I, Scary. He, him and his brother. Scary. They both don't. Look he couldn't right. get a, you know, he couldn't fade out his hair on. He looks like he's about to Alu Akbar through these fucking <laughs> country gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, aloe, aloe back bar, that's what you use when you get a burn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 this aloe back bar is just too what painful. Is stinging? Oh, my God. <laughs> Never in my life, I think, I would ever make <laughs> a terrorist sunburn joke in my life. But here we are, folks. <laughs> but you know what? Trump arrested. Tristan released. <laughs> Woo! I mean, wait. But, what's oh, a yeah, 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 lose? Yeah, yeah. I don't wait, know. Wait, no. Circling back what's to a good thing. Circ- what's a bad thing? The guy in the back with the <laughs> applaud. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> Trump. Trump. Trump arrested. Boo! <laughs> Andre Tate released. Yay! Dude, I want. Where's my soundboard? I, I know you'll get it I'm soon. I'm gonna get dude. one. You'll, I'm yeah, gonna get we're one. we're getting one. We're getting one. Where are the talks? No, so, it's gonna happen. So you know, you know, give and take, man. I think the older, the older, the older, like white dudes, like you know, like the all the older red pill guys, <laughs> they lost today. You know what I mean? But the young gen, we're coming back, dude. This is symbolic. <laughs> This is symbolic. Did you just call the Trump supporters the older red pill generation? Is they that... are, dude. They are. I mean, you're not wrong, but like, it just sounds you think so Andrew weird Tate, to you, interpret you think... it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you think the QAnon people are into Andrew? 
It doesn't make any sense. They're just like, what's sex work? You know what I mean? Like, they're just like, they don't, what's a Bugatti? <laughs> That's how he says Bugatti. That's how he said, yeah, because he's English. So he's American and he's English. No wonder he's such a douche. Right. It is. There, there's those are the top douches of the world are oh, like geez. the the English. They still have like a little no. bit of the accent, and they're we like they use it to their advantage. We do not welcome that attitude, Jer. I heard that. <laughs> top G, top G, top G, top G, top G, top G, top <laughs> G's gonna, out, son. You guys are gonna get fucking Nickelodeon slimed by the females in this house. So you keep that energy up. Ugh, bruh. You know what? If I get slime, more the reason that we need more top G's in this world. <laughs> top G's get the slime. He gets, he gets, dude, just replace top, just, look, all right, tr all right, no, okay, let me just propose listen, something. Listen, listen. Listen, people, listen, listen, all right? Let's just say, you know, Trump goes to jail. Let's just put in Andrew, dude. Why not? You don't know what I mean? Say that. I don't agree with that. Just, <laughs> she's like, no. Just like Andrew. You know, at least Andrew's nice to look at. I vote I Jack will Black. admit that. Jack Black. Yes. Jack Black, our Lord and Savior. Yes. Of, of with his Rocky vice Roll. president. Yeah, and with his vice president. No, Adam dude. Sandler. Yes. Dude, I can't. I'm sorry, but yes. I. And the first lady, Drew Barrymore. Here. here. Oh. No, 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 no. I can't endorse a president who hasn't had at least one scandal with, with some kind of prostitute or a webcam model. There has to be at least one scandal. No, one pure one scandal. One <laughs> I've heard about this Andrew guy. He seems to really get it going. He made some bad business deals. I get it. I get it. <laughs> this is a clear example of there's two types of people in this world. People are going to get slimed and people are going to elect Jack Black as president. Yeah. But, I 100% fully support this. 2024 but this, like, Jack Black. These men, these men are a product of a softening society. The only reason why these guys started to blossom into these whatever the fuck they call them, right? This is like this is that a lot of men feel that their masculinity is being shamed. And instead of there being like healthy like models, idols of what like healthy masculinity looks like, it's all masculinity has been shout, shouted down, and now this is the product of it, is that now extreme masculinity is taking over in its stead. Like yeah. <clears throat> exactly. So, so I guess a prime example is like Andrew Tate is like the definition of toxic masculinity. But then like there's examples of like my grandfather. But who a was lot born of people. raised in the 60s yeah. and like they, they were very masculine you know, identities in society, but it was healthy enough that they respected women in their household. My grandfather's never hit my grandma, you know? And, like, they've had a happy marriage of almost over 50 years. Like, they did something right. And then there's our generation that, like, all my friends who have married have gotten divorced, except for, like, maybe three. I never hit her. I never hit her. I only grabbed her pussy. One time... <laughs> She said she wanted it. She told me. She said, "Wow, Donald, what a great, what a great hand! I would love you to grab my pussy. I did it. I did it. I didn't enjoy it, but now here I am." <laughs> no, the, no, there is a difference though, because a lot of, a lot of like, I don't think it's. I don't know. Like, it kind of just depends. Like, so if you can't, if, if, you don't have any role models for men these days mm -hmm. there's very few role models for men these days and if these guys pop up right then what's the solution right because what happens is, is every time that it goes to extreme one side it goes extreme to the other side you know what i mean but you know what sucks though in our today's society the way it has evolved is that our society is more focused on the negative aspects of it than the positive do you know anybody any humanitarians that have actually done good to the world in the top of your head but you can definitely name on an instant what kind of assholes there are in the world doesn't that fucking blow your mind that's true that's negative true. energy always travels faster and resonates stronger than positive like but, it's just it's you know just how but, it's evolved. but i mean you're literally you you you're literally a product of it mm -hmm. right 
So you say, so you, so you mentioned like that your grandpa was masculine but never hit anyone. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's actually in Andrew's like Tate's case, there's no, there's no evidence saying that he hit any of the women. This is also true. But you didn't know that. But you assume Mm -hmm. that because there's like this huge, like, you know, it's what I I, like. Whenever this is brought up, I'm always brought with the same thing. It's like, oh God, uh, fuck Andrew Tate, and then it's always like, I can't believe him be a sex trafficker, and then it always ends up devolving down to like, okay, maybe there's not any evidence for sex trafficking, or okay, maybe he didn't hit anyone, or well, then he manipulated, and then he, you know, and it's more of like because you're starting from a basis of like, okay, I hate this guy because people told me to hate it, and because there are a lot of sound bites of him saying stupid like misogynistic shit you know he's a very just aggressive personality yeah he's just an he's like an aggressive guy the wrong way and he believes in a more like uh more traditional and when i mean traditional i don't mean like i mean like islamic traditional kind of way of looking at men and he is like he is islamic king of the castle king King of of the the castle castle. wow (laughs) like your women are basically your slaves for life like that's how it is but you also have to better but you have to imagine like as (laughs) you have to think if you like all of a sudden went to islam and freed all these women the vast majority of them would just go back. Yeah, because that's all they've ever known. That's all they've ever known. So, But you don't know, like, you don't know if that's what they want. You don't know if that's what they hate. You don't know. There's this idea that I learned uh, about, like, like Eurocentric, Eurocentrism, which is, like, saying, thinking that your idea is correct because you learned it in the West and you want to put it like over everyone, right? Mm-hmm. And then you learn this because when you go to a tribe in the middle of nowhere that has little technology, what you find is a lot of those traditional gender roles are almost ex- extreme in that in that way. Most of the women are gatherers. Most of the men are hunters. And you know, so unfortunately, that's what we are genetically designed to do. That's and why so men are colorblind, and women can. This is yeah. very true. So we don't poison our true. families with berries. <laughs> The wrong shade of fucking <laughs> ra- electric is, raspberry. Yeah. Also, like, have you looked like an at the average man named like Jerry who but goes to the fucking bar like three times a week? Like, do you want him to hold there and sit there and sit with the toddler? That's the most funny thing about this like gendered argument that like that men and women are exactly the same. And yeah. there's one of this. There's this great joke. Uh, I forget who it's from. Uh, but it essentially goes f- ab- about this and like how y'all believe in like feminism and equality, except for when it comes to finding a babysitter for your kid. Wow. Not a single time do people go out of their way to go find a male to take care of their kid. Unless they're gay. Or a nanny. Or yeah, unless they're like extremely gay. But at that they're point, like, hey, they're bas- totally they're welcome to the club. Yeah, they're welcome to the club. You know, you know. <laughs> if trans people can go change in women's bathrooms, I can say I think we can say that gay men are like the gayest of the gay men. You know, we're not talking about like Uncle Sal who's tried a few things a few summers ago <laughs> in a camp that he never talks That's about. Sketchy. We're talking <laughs> about like That's the last person, I, Uncle. Sal. Sal can fuck off. <laughs> no, I want Uncle Sal watch. No, like no, but like you no, know the the like flam- Uncle Sal's Uncle Jeremy in the cabin. I knew I knew someone Uncle Jeremy. And they called him Uncle Jeremy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you got the yeah, you got the flamboyance. <laughs> but even this then, like in high school. But yeah, I Uncle never, Jeremy. That's what it reminds me. Of. Very rarely do I hear about <laughs> even gay men being like babysitters or nannies. It's true. It is such a rare. It's thing. It's a women's it job. It's so rare. Because we are... Oh, you're an Andrew Tate fan. You're an Andrew Tate fan. Turns out that they don't have that much of a difference. <laughs> he, I, Let me rephrase. I don't like him because of his attitude. There you go. You can say that. His attitude you can say that. rubs me the wrong way, and I kind of want to punch him in the face. It's a little bit Although, for an ego. I would get knocked the bit. fuck out by him, hands down, but that doesn't mean I still don't want to punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like... My opinion <laughs> about Andrew is mixed because yeah, it's, I it's think silly. there are there are three sides to Andrew that people really haven't taken into consideration, right? You have the online Andrew, which mm-hmm. is him 
purely from a business standpoint. It's a persona. It's a persona. It's mm -hmm. he has realized that he can he made millions of dollars from like blowing up that fast. Like you have to understand that. A lot of times people will create personas just to create a reaction and then inevitably take that ad revenue. It's like a <clears throat> wonder kind of thing. Yeah. Like he capitalized on it. And so on Successful. top of that, so that's like overcompassing, right? And then you have the like self-help Andrew. This is the Andrew that I think is actually pretty positive and net positive for men out there. I do agree <clears throat> with this. Because this is what like – this is the part of the – this is the Andrew that talks about taking responsibility – going forward and making something happen and that like there is a sense of accomplishment that every man like kind of thrives to take and um men love a challenge yes men men love a challenge that's why uh that's why when men are depressed, doing something to overcome something makes them feel better. Mm -hmm. That's why like working out or like, you know, beating something in a video game, it makes them feel good. As opposed to a woman, talking about the issue makes them feel a lot better as opposed to fixing the issue, which is one of my many complaints. I have many complaints about women these days. One of the problems is, is that they don't want to fix their issues. They don't. I talk to them. Look, there's a woman right here. I'm friends with a woman. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> I have many friends that touch that touch a lot of vaginas in my day. You know. <laughs> um, oh, I feel uncomfy. <laughs> you're a woman. You're a woman. <laughs> we're all women. we're all women here. <laughs> this is a woman free space. <laughs> <laughs> you're either free to not be a woman or free to be a woman. You're either a woman or you're that's all. It. You don't get. You're either not a woman, a woman, or you're all, or you're something else. I'm not sure, but it seems kind of out there. <laughs> uh, but no, what does I say? Oh yeah, so like he like that's the message that I do like from him is that he gives this kind of like just take it by charge, mm -hmm. which is something that has been he the... pushes men to be the better version The better of version of themselves. Like, go out, stop jerking off. That's a big thing. It's like, he's like, stop, like, watching porn. Stop, like, being worthless. Start, like, start looking at your own value. These are things that are widely accepted for female influencers to talk about when it comes to women. Any woman can go out there and be like, you're the best bitch. You go out there. You go find yourself a man. You, you know... You're a boss ass this bitch. You're a ten out of ten. This is the that. masculine version of it. But the problem is, is that like when you see a guy aggressively like making jokes about women and stuff like that, all of a sudden now it's a like yeah, it's a minority group that's getting picked on, mm -hmm. and then it becomes like not okay, right? But that's besides like his whole like camming video shit, like because <clears throat> so okay, so you have the like self improvement version, right? And then you have the like version. the like horny asshole version yeah, of him, like the total where Chad he just doesn't Chad, care and like he's just like you know evil <clears throat> dark. But side. what a lot of people have to understand is from those videos, I'll I'll tell you right now it'll be hard for you to find a video of him saying that like women need to act like this or like everyone <laughs> needs to act like this. Most of the time that Andrew or Tristan talks was in the and was in the case of their own preferences. Mm -hmm. It was it's and almost they always that normally. Yeah. Like in my opinion. They're like, I just like, you know, I will never be just me person usually he says like, you know, I, I will never be monogamous. Look up a Andrew Tate video of him talking about not being monogamous. Um, we should have up soon. Okay. Um, but yeah, so he essentially just like talks about that it's his preference, which I don't think that's, that's crazy. Like we accept polygamy. We accept like all these people being like ethically non-monogamous, polygamous, you know, I fuck 11 people at the same time, you know, but then we don't accept a guy that like his preference is polygamy, but like only on the woman's side, right? Because then that what I think what it does is it brings back flashbacks 
from the toxic masculinity that was basically the norm for the vast majority of history. Uh, for the vast these majority, are like the prime pieces of shit of history that and, you're just like exactly. Wow, I cannot the only believe people with money. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. power, and, and like any kind of influence. Yeah. And tomorrow we're going to talk about this more. Next episode we're going to talk about this more. We have a dating episode coming out, um, but which is basically that, you know, uh, if I'll, I'll, it used to be for ninety nine percent of fucking history that the man who was the most successful got all the bitches. That's how it is. If you it's look true. in a monkey cage right now, the most successful alpha monkey right ends up fucking all the women. And end up creating most because it's it's all about creating the best genes, whatever. I mean, you can get down to it. It gets a little tricky once you start talking about purity. Animal and, you know, is very <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but for jaw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for me, my opinion about this whole thing is, if he did something illegal, he needs to face the actions for those. He needs to, you know what I, I mean? I do agree. But I don't know. That I think a lot of this is just like what it could be for Trump. Like, these are both examples of how this and this political environment can really explode because what we're seeing is these top red pill personalities becoming martyrs. Like you said earlier, they're being arrested now and they're being pulling out. We're not and... seeing, you know, crazy leftists being arrested at the same rate that these big uh, well, not at the same rate no not at the same rate it's n not the big personalities no. right other than the the biden administrator the gay guy who was like stealing uh clothes what? you know who i'm talking about what yeah i have no idea look up biden administrator who steals uh no steals a uh, luggage <laughs> yeah there you go sam sam brighton Dude, not, look at that top. Oh, my God. So Sam Brighton. I have no idea. So Sam Brighton was uh, an elected person in the, like, nuclear division of, like, the obviously a diversity hire. He's non-binary, right? Oh. The old, 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 they, they are non-binary. The multiples of Sam Brighton, the, the soul and the... Uh, physical and the Spirit. the spirits Energy. and the 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 wine and the crackers and I don't know what else. <laughs> the there's, wine and crackers. There's a wine and cracker. I think there's like five in <laughs> they. There's something five or four in they. There's a lot going on in they. <clears throat> Anyways, so Sam Brighton, a uh, yeah non-binary Biden official, stole jewelry worth seventeen hundred dollars in luggage theft. He would go around. Taking people's luggages, taking women's luggages, mostly women of color too, which is funny. And he would take their – look at what he's wearing. He would take like what they have in their luggage and he wear them on camera in front of the entire world. He ended up stealing thousands and thousands of dollars of people's like luggage just to get their fashion. And I think he, he got off on it. He got off on like wearing all these people. And they're all black women's clothes. What the – and Look he at this. He's very much. He's bald. Well, they, <laughs> He's got a they, mustache. I'm so sorry. You got to think you got to think about the Christ and the and yeah, the wine they, and the blood and the and, and the and the the bunny ears. The bunny yeah, the bunny ears are part of the they. <laughs> You're just I don't understand this because to me, if I look at a picture of that, that looks like a transvestite, a man who likes to dress like a woman. Also, the polka dots don't go with the because, flowers. But they don't the identify the as a woman. Whoa, whoa, we don't use transvestite anymore. We we use trans-normalized, cis-non-gendered, uh, 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 they, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, I can't. It's, just, it's so complicated. Oh, my God. Coneheads. Remember the movie Coneheads? It looks like something from the, the Do you remember? Human. Look up the movie Coneheads on a different tab. I don't think I... Coneheads movie. I know what you're talking about, but that's like... I've been experienced. Look up images. This is the... So, Boom. Yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Go down. Look at... On the, on the left. We had warnings. Left. And we didn't listen. Up. That one. Okay, now go back to the other picture. 
We had warnings. We... <laughs> <laughs> we had warnings and we didn't listen. We had warning. Oh, speaking of which, dude, I'm doing it permanently now. I can't stop doing things like A Trump. Hands. I can't it's stop. It's because dude. you've been practicing them all I know. day. I know. I can't long. stop. But, okay, so we'll end this with, with this. Okay, I got one last question. So, a week ago, there was speculation that Trump was going to be arrested for these things. And during that, you can get rid of the photo of, of this fucking, <laughs> so this sad. troll. But now I know this, interesting facts. This non-binary troll. They, them, we respect their pronouns, but still a troll. They, them, respect True. pronouns, Don't troll. steal black women's luggage. That's fucking weird. Don't steal language. Just don't, don't, steal. Yeah. Dude, don't, don't, just don't, don't steal. steal. Is like, that... I feel like you would make a lot of money. <laughs> That's how it's going to be like right in the future. It's like a steal. weird, I don't know, I think it was almost like a weird fetish thing. That's just, yeah. like, he just got off on That's it, how it's going to be like in the future. Like, they, like, they uh, got just off as long. It. <laughs> Hannah. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> just as long as, like, you get... It's it, just as long as you get... God damn it, people. It's so hard to get jokes out. <laughs> All right, moving on. Donald Trump. So in order, so when they said that he was going to be arrested, they created AI photos of him getting arrested. We saw these photos last time, remember? Oh, we we Go ahead and pull them up. He was two days off, though, because didn't he... Wasn't his indictment on Thursday? I think it's next week. It's on, like, Tuesday or something. No, it was announced. so these so these photos happened. Well, well, these photo uh, an AI <laughs> created these photos. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Uh, and then the face. Don't though. grab me. It's the face. Uh, they did a, AI is dude. AI pics are fucking <laughs> wild as shit. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> <laughs> you think you understand how you know how you know how expensive this suit is? Why don't touch me. Art. Look I, at him running. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy walking in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is that. This is exactly what he would sound like running. <sighs> right? No, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. <sighs> <laughs> That's exactly how it is. Okay. So my last question of the night is: With this whole indictment coming on, this AI was produced a week ago. In a conspiracy world, do you think that this AI? And these photos becoming viral, do you think that it was kind of contributing to him eventually actually getting processed and charged? Meaning, do you think that this AI almost manifested him getting arrested? Hannah. I want to get, I want to pass. I want to think about this for a second because I. Wow. I can't believe it. I passed it right to her. She didn't even want it. <laughs> She didn't even want, she said. I just want to think about it because I honestly don't know. I asked her before she came on here. I said, I said, are you ready? Are you ready to come on the camera and talk and talk about all these things? She said, yes. She was lying. She's just crooked. She's crooked like Hillary. They're all crooked. All right, bae. You're the next one. Let's bring it back. What do you think? Do you think AI can make the future manifest the life before us? Um... I do think that it's possible that with AI, like, a bunch of people saw these and thought that they were real. So I think that that made, like, possibly some people be more confident in the possibility of arresting Trump in real life. You know? So, I mean, life imitates art. So. <laughs> okay. You know what? I 100% agree. I was on the fence. I, I didn't know which way. Because I could see him. Like, honestly, oh. it's just a picture. Now she wants to talk. It's computer Now she wants to talk. It was her turn. Process. I asked her, go talk. You talk. She didn't want to talk. She didn't want to talk. Now she wants to talk. It's all right. You're probably with CNN, aren't you? No. You're with CNN. They're always with CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's two. I think it's two things to this. I think there are two things to this. I think, one, there's the magical part of it. Like, oh, AI is going to turn into this magic thing and it's going to eventually make things happen. And then there's the, like, these photos incited, like you said, like this image of him getting arrested into society. And it became so accepted to the point that this pro these images probably reached the jury. Or whoever ends up deciding whether if he got charged or not. Mm -hmm. So it makes you think, like, is AI pot like could AI indirectly 
like change an actual charge or history itself, right? And you got to ask yourself with chat GPT four coming out, right? And this idea of like, you know, with Elon Musk talking about how it's dangerous that we don't want to leave these, these artificial intelligence to their own devices. Uh, I guess, okay. Now the final question is, is do <laughs> final, final, yeah, if chat BT, if chat GPT pull four turns into chat 15, right? Mm -hmm. And now chat 15, it'll turn into like, just like how many years old this child is like that I turns saw. into, yeah, right? Like, do you imagine the world getting better because of AI or worse? Worse. 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 Because everybody's going to get lazy. And there's not going to be anyone who has any kind of skill skill set. <laughs> Everything's going to be automated. Collapse. We're going to get dumb. Yeah, and dumber but and also dumber dumber. cancer. I mean, Wally. Cancer gone. <laughs> I feel like right, Wally. like out like any addictions because you can use AI to fix these complicated like questions in society. Like, it does the hard work for you. It, it does, does the, the hard work for you. you. If okay, if an AI promised you that people would moderately be around the same quality of living as you would now, right? But it would end all wars. But you have to be the underling of this AI. The AI controls everything. You have to admit all control. Would you trade world peace for being under control of an AI? No. I want to do whatever the fuck I want. I don't want well, a robot tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah, Trump, 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 Trump. That's, Trump. that's honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> because the world peace, there will be no need for war in Ukraine. Done. You're a robot caller. All right, I'm going. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm, I'm you torn. just you just you just want to do donuts in the Safeway parking lot. You can't do that under and an my AI. My cigarettes and my Mountain Dews. It's true. Teslas will not let you. I don't, this is the I, correct answer under actual terms of freedom. Because safety, if you take safety without freedom, you're going to give your rights to freedom. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, that brings up the right. whole thing. I can give myself that's, safety. That's God damn it. Our leaders in jail. Break them out. Just break out our white leader. And Trump's like, stop saying whites. <laughs> I have yeah. a great base with the Latinos. I'm orange now. <laughs> I'm my own race. I brought. I'll show up in orange face. <laughs> I may have deported their leader. <laughs> I may have deported the leader, but I brought him back. He's eating nachos right now. He loves. <laughs> I don't yeah I, I agree though I think I think AI would make the world worse off in the future because like what imagine an AI that's like that's like all PC you know what I mean PC oh. principal yeah like robot. PC yeah robot Dude, you that's... will respect their pronouns it is Z forward slash Zer <laughs> forward slash they forward slash them forward slash she Forward slash for now for species. This person identifies in what species? Dog. Forward slash dog. Forward slash black. Forward slash. <laughs> You're just sitting there and be like, do we have to wait for all the pronouns, dude? Like, then the you will respect pronouns or be thrown in jail. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> like just trip me out of a seat at that point yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> can I just call them a human be like speciesism three years in jail they like throw you out I'm like god damn it North Korean hard yeah. labor Jesus Christ dude that's when Trump would still be in charge but he would just go to the other side he'd just like he'd just be like a transracial black like disabled trans like President, he'd be like, you know, I never knew that my identity was to be a transracial black, disabled black woman, but here I am. <laughs> Leader of the free world once again. My pronouns are they slash them. <laughs> a non-binary non Trump would go hard, dude. A leftist Trump. A leftist Trump would go hard, dude. I bet we could convince Biden to do that really easily. I bet he would have, like, some cool, yeah, he's, he's like, his problem. Yeah. He would have problem, like a easy. hip haircut. For yeah. Sure. You mean a different toupee? Yeah. It yeah. would be shorter. You're spiky. <laughs>
It'd be Where sliced in bits. Yes. <laughs> yes. Where yeah, Guy yeah, Fieri. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yes. We're out here to protect trans rights. <laughs> Inflamed him. We're here to protect Flavor Town. He has a flame tie. Oh my god. We believe in equality between men and women. Women are honestly better at anything anyways. (laughs) Including our trans friends, you know. Uh, Make sure everyone knows that their pronouns, you better get your pronouns right. Look, if you don't get your pronouns right, then, you know, what are we doing here, people? You know, we're honestly just like, words mean everything. (laughs) We're gonna raise the taxes on the rich. (laughs) That we're gonna pay everything. Everything's gonna be great. All right, guys. Well, look. I think this is it. I, I, I am. like a three-hour podcast. You guys, yeah. you guys have seen. You guys have no. We're not including breaks. Okay, we had a good like forty-minute break. But you guys have seen my Trump voice go from no. like some random. <laughs> We, you guys have seen my Trump voice go from some random East Coast guy to fairly good, I feel like. I, I've gotten I, pretty I good say, at the I've end. I've been hearing this evolve well, from this morning to now, and it's, it's like gotten a, a lot out better. <laughs> six out of ten? a lot better. Unbelievable. I never get in six out of ten in my life. You're fired. <laughs> wrong. 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 It's just wrong. I've... <laughs> I ne- I, I've never met a person more wrong in my life, and I've met Hillary. I've met Hillary. She stinks down there. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Your voice is going to get stuck like that. Well, I know. I, I do well. not. Can we, baby? No. I'll bring it in bed. I'll bring it in Ben. No. I'll be in trouble. Do you like freedom in our country? Okay. <laughs> Our country's not doing so well. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> God damn it, Daryl. <laughs> it's my favorite voice. I want to do it. <laughs> I'm excited. Wow, Melania, you got quite the ass. I see it bumping off your ass. <laughs> I like immigrants. I immigrants I'll immigrate this cock into your ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for coming by. Some breaking news. We just uh, kind of did our own whatever episode. Remember to subscribe. Remember to comment. Remember to turn on that notification bell. Oh, and we are now streaming on all streaming platforms, including Woo! Apple Podcasts and 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 Spotify. That's what you know. So go ahead and watch all of our episodes. We're going to have a lot more clips on our YouTube as well. Thank you guys for coming. We love you. Bye. Bye.